very warm greetings. My name is Manu Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and trainer at BTE for 199 Australia, and I welcome you back to my YouTube channel and this video. In today's session, I'm going to tell you very important piece of information which will not only change your life in PT examination, but also ensures your success straight away. This video will tell you about just four tasks, which will give you 54% of entire scoring of PT examination. 54% comes from these four tasks. So stay with me till the end. And before I proceed, just a request. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please uh, do subscribe it so that I can help you uh, with all the latest updates uh, in the PTE world. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. The first task you must focus and prioritize in your practice sessions is definitely the first task of PTE examination, read aloud. First, read aloud. Now, before we dig deeper into the um, scoring in the various sections, I want to show you how this task looks like in the examination. So you'll be given a random paragraph like this, and you'll be given 35 to 40 seconds as a preparatory time. That means software will not record you in, in the prep time. After that, there will be a beep sound and uh, post that you have to read the entire paragraph loudly, keeping in mind the various scoring parameters of speaking section which is content pronunciation and oral fluency. Now, in speaking section, as we all know, clarity and fluency are the two main elements. You must practice for a better clarity and fluency in the practice sessions as well. Now, looking at read aloud, read aloud contributes about 22 marks to your speaking and 22 marks out of 90 to your reading score, which is again, the top scoring task of PTE examination. 22 speaking, 22 reading out of 90. Moving on to the second task you must focus and prioritize in your practice sessions is the second task of PTE examination, repeat sentence. Now, repeat sentence is also the most scoring task of PT examination. And this is how this task will look like in the exam. So you'll get to hear an audio sentence and PT expects you to repeat the same sentence back to the software, keeping in mind the three scoring parameters of speaking section. Now, something like this, you'll be given three seconds of peptide and after that audio sentence will be played you have to repeat the same sentence back. The most commonly made mistake in repeat sentence is people rush a lot. They forget that fumbling in the examination is an enemy to your speaking score. So we must keep our clarity and fluency at the same time. Now repeat sentence, since it is the most scoring task, it contributes 32 marks to your speaking and 18 marks to your listening out of 90. 18 out of 90 to listening, 32 out of 90 to your speaking score. Very, so 50 in total out of 180. Very scoring. Number three, the third task you must focus and prioritize is reading and writing fill in the blanks, which is also called as a drop down fill in the blanks of a reading section. Now, what will happen? You'll be given a, given a random paragraph, something like this, and you need to solve these blanks. Uh, each blank will have a drop down with certain options. You have to click the most appropriate option as per your language skills uh, and solve these blanks. Now in reading section, as we know that time management is very important. We cannot afford to spend more than one and a half or two minutes in each question of fill in the blanks. So we have to keep the time management factor in mind while solving these questions. Now talking about reading and writing fill in the blanks, it contributes 22 marks to your writing and 22 marks to your reading score. Again, very scoring task for your PT examination. 
Number four, and the last task, which is also the last task of PT examination, write from dictations. Number of questions in the examination will be three to five questions. Very scoring, very important for your listening and writing score. Now, what will happen? Again, the on the same grounds of repeat sentences, uh, you'll get to hear a random audio sentence and PT expect you to write the same sentence in the answer box, keeping in mind the various rules of writing. Now, if you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, taken classes from any institute, uh, you must have been told about these writing rules. For example, the rule of capitalization in which whenever you begin a new sentence, you have to start with a capital letter. So there are certain rules like that, which we have to follow in each task where uh, writing is or typing is involved. Now, something like this, you'll get to hear an audio sentence and need to um, write the same sentence, same sentence in the answer box, keeping in mind the various writing rules we have. Now, this right from dictation, this task contributes 26 marks to your writing score and 19 marks to your listening score. Now, let's take a look at the total of uh, scores of these tasks into various sections. Now, if we only practice these four tasks for PT examination, and you would be able, and if you, if you, you know, score about 90 or 100 percent in this these tasks, what will happen is you will be able to secure about 54 marks out of 90 in speaking section which is about 60% marks in total. So 60% score you are ensuring from these four tasks only. Moving on to the second writing section, the total is 48 out of 90, which is nothing but 53% score in total. So you are securing 53% writing score by ensuring and practicing, ensuring your best performance in these four tasks in PT examination. Moving on to the reading, by only performing well in these four tasks, you are securing 44 marks out of 90, which is about 50% of your total reading score. And last but not the least, listening section, the total is 37 out of 90, which is about 41% score you are ensuring from, you know, ensuring by performing well in these four tasks. If you, uh, if you, if you, you know, take a total of all the four sections, it will come out at 54% of the total ETE examination. So more than half, which is hopping, which is mind blowing. So basically, if you are prioritizing and practicing these four tasks for PT examination, and you're ensuring a good performance in these tasks, you would be able to score really well. And which is, which means that you are ensuring your success in the PTE world. Now, which brings me to the end of this video. I hope this piece of information will help you to, uh, to plan your practice sessions ahead. And uh, th that's my personal request that you must focus um, in performing well in these tasks. Thank you so much uh, for being with me so far. My name is Manu Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and trainer at PT for 199. For any kind of inquiries, enrollments, you must jump onto my website, www.pte4199.com.au. Um, I'm looking forward to help you and to interact with you in the near future. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.